Uh, we start A level biology 9700 MCQ topical cell membrane. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. This is the second video and this is covering question 30 to question 50. Now uh, looking at question 30, the diagram shows two identical plant cells. One plant is put into a solution with a water potential less negative. So its inside is minus 5, outside is minus 3. Always put some figures. I've added these figures to it. This was not in the question. And the other is put in a wooden in a in a in a sorry in a solution with a water potential more negative. So inside is minus five, outside is minus ten. So you please understand this was not in the question. I've added this minus five and minus ten. What will happen to the appearance? Naturally, the one which has a minus three, the water will enter, and the cell will become fully turgid. While in this, of course, plasmolysis will occur and the water will move out and the cell will plasmolize. So the answer was C. Question 31, which role of the cell membrane is not a result of the properties of the phospholipids? To stabilize surface membranes, to stabilize by binding with water molecules. The rest of it was all, uh, is not a result of the properties of the phospholipids. Then an increase in which component would make the cell surface more fluid? Cholesterol, or it could have been uh, unsaturated fatty acids. 33, which processes that move substances across cell membrane result in an equilibrium? It had to be the three passive processes, diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and osmosis. Because that remains, you see, the active transport is for molecules which are sort of needed by force by the membrane. So it's from a low to a high concentration. Then question 34. Diagram 1 and 2 show the transverse section through a leaf changes when moved from one solution W to a different solution Y. In W you see how it has curled up. This is the leaf which has curled up like this. And now in this it has sort of become straighter. So that means water must have entered and the cells have become fully turgid. How has the water potential changed in diagram 2? How has the water potential changed in diagram 2? Difference in cells at X in solution Y. Difference in cells at X in solution Y, this one. To the same cells in solution W. Difference in solution Y compared to solution W. Well, it's a little confusing, it's a little demanding, it's a little bit of an, uh, more of an English exam. So the answer is less negative, less negative. Because they are comparing the cells at X in solution Y. So cells at X. Now I have explained this in a very simple manner. In which I have shown you the cells being minus 5 in the solution W being minus 6. Now when you move it to another solution which was minus 2. Now what will happen to the cells? They will uh, gain water. So they will become minus 4. And the solution which was there, so you have to compare the solution Y and the solution W. Here you have to different difference in the cells at X in solution Y and difference in the cells in solution W. So please understand this, look at this diagram and I have seen why the answer is that they are both becoming less negative. 35, what is the role of cholesterol to regulate fluidity of the membrane? The following a process by which substances can enter a cell, which processes are passive, you knew it translated to diffusion and osmosis. So it's not endocytosis, it's an active process. In 37, the diagram shows the water potential of three adjacent plant cells, minus 8, minus 10, minus 12. So this has got 8, 8 chini, 10 chamche chini, 12 chamche chini. Well, that's a way of just explaining to myself. In which directions will be the net movement of water by osmosis? Net movement of water by osmosis. So, you have to understand is that it will always be from a less negative, so 8 to 12, 10 to 12, and 8 to 10. Less negative to more negative. So anything with 8 teaspoons of sugar and 10 teaspoons of sugar, so more water potential, more free water molecules is in the less negative. We have two solutions, minus 8, minus 10. So minus 8 will have a higher water potential, more free water molecules. So that is why the answer was here, you get this answer was B, D. This was the correct answer, right? Then question number 38. 
Red blood cells are placed in a solution of sodium chloride with a less negative water potential than the cell contents. Hemoglobin was released from the cells. What, what process was the hemoglobin released? Of course, naturally, if it's a less negative, this is the cell membrane, water enters, and the cell is going to swell up and it's going to burst. So the hemoglobin is going to be released because the cell burst, and that bursting and that putrefying is called lysis. I know there's no word English, uh, putrefying. I just made it all up. Question 39, the table shows three processes that contribute to transport across cell membranes. Which processes are the result of random movement of molecules? All the three processes, diffusion, facilitated diffusion, and osmosis are because of the random movement of water molecules. Question 40, the cell surface membrane of plants adapted to cold conditions change as the weather gets colder, allowing the plants to carry out exocytosis. Which changes occur? An increase in the ratio of unsaturated to saturated. So it was very simple because the unsaturated fats and the saturated fats, you've got to remember that story. Question 41. The diagram shows part of a cell surface membrane. Uh, now what is one? One is the phospholipid, the phosphate head and the phospholipid uh, molecule, which has got the fatty acid tails. And two is the protein. Three is the glycogen part. Four is the channel protein. Five is the protein on the surface of it. Now it says, which molecules have both hydrophobic and hydrophilic regions? <clears throat> so except for the three, which was a carbohydrate only, the rest all have a hydrophobic and a hydrophilic region. Increasing which type of bonds helps to increase the fluidity of the cell membrane? Which types of bonds helps to increase the unsaturated fatty acids? So the, the glycerol is there, of course, but we're not talking about the glycerol. We are talking about the fatty acid chains. Now, the fatty acid chains are made up of carbon-carbon. So, if we do a carbon and a double bond, then, of course, you get an unsaturated fatty acid. So, this is what is going to help in that. Then, question number 43. Uh, when cylinders of potato tissue were immersed in 0.35 mole dm cube sucrose solution, they showed no change in mass. What will happen when cylinders are immersed in 0.1? So, first we had the potato cylinders. 0.35 so that means inside it was also 0.35 so there was no net movement so there was no net movement meaning 10 water molecules entered 10 left now if you put a 0.1 outside what has happened so the pressure potential of the cells will become more positive so they're talking of the pressure potential so what will happen is water will enter and the pressure potential of the cells will become more positive the rest of them are all wrong now, looking at question number 44, the diagram shows the transport of ions across the cell membrane. Inside the cell, inside the cell, this is here. Inside the cell, there is low sodium. So, inside the cell, we have low sodium and high potassium. This is inside the cell. Now, outside the cell, what do we have? Outside cell, there is low potassium and high sodium. So you do this, you write this. So outside the cell, there is a low concentration of potassium. So low potassium and high sodium. Then look at these headings. Active transport of potassium, active transport of sodium. Now I would have only looked at active transport of sodium. So active transport of sodium would mean it would be in which direction? Low to high. So it would have to be low potassium, uh, sorry. Active transport of sodium would be low sodium to high sodium. So it had to be three because a channel protein is involved. And this was the channel protein which was being shown here. And that would help me to decide the other things. And then of course diffusion would be through the cell membrane. So they have shown diffusion because if they are small, they could probably pass, but ions do not usually pass. So this was a little confusing for you all. I would have got a little confused. So diffusion of sodium would be one because the sodium is high inside and it is low inside. So diffusion will be one and diffusion of potassium would be high to low. So that would be four. So this is how you had to understand and the answer was A. Then coming to question number 45, plant cells were immersed in solutions of different water potentials and left for one hour. Which row shows the effect of the different solutions on the plant cells? Less negative, equal, more negative. 
well if it was equal then i would have focused on these two and then more negative would mean that the cell inside was minus 5 and it was minus 10 so water would move out and they would become flaccid so this is how you have to give yourself examples of this and then do this uh, question question 46 which molecules found in cell membranes contribute to cell recognition it's one and two glycolipids and glycoproteins the phospholipids do not uh, do anything in cell recognition question 47 which processes allow movement into and out of a cell well of course all the four processes will allow movements into and out of the cell so the answer was d then question 48 some plant and animal cells are placed in different solutions and the results are shown which cells were placed in which solution oh, which cells were placed in which solution so one is 1.0 mole sucrose and one is 0.1 mole salt solution so one mole sucrose would be a very highly concentrated so water would move out so that would be three and five because cells would plasmalize or the cell will shrink if it's an animal cell because they said in the question animal and plant cells so there are some cells with a cell wall there are some cells without a cell wall and point one it would be two and four Point one would mean water would enter, so it would be only two and four. So the answer was D. Sorry, the reason why four is the answer is because four is a misprint and there was a cell membrane drawn around it, and that is not in the original picture. So I just checked with the original question paper and I realized there was some sort of a mistake. So we just correct this diagram. Question 49: How many fatty acid residues are normally present in a phospholipid molecule? There's just two. That's why you make these two legs and we have this face here. Uh, question 50. As the frozen lake warms after cold water, mineral nutrients are brought to the surface. Which properties of water contribute to this process? It's uh, 1 and 3, the greatest density, and its molecules form hydrogen bond. But this has now been removed from the present uh, syllabus, so you don't have to worry about this. That finishes this uh, cell membrane uh, MCQ topical and I hope this is helpful and uh, becomes easier for you to do these questions. Thank you very much.